So Traylon Smith at one point seemed to be, correct me if I'm wrong, the guy, mm -hmm. or at least in the lead, he heads off to TCU. Maybe there was too much competition. I don't know what the deal was there. But uh, Dominique Johnson and Raheem Sanders uh, bring back quite a bit of uh, productivity. They're loaded here. And I, I haven't felt this good about what they have going on in the uh, backfield since maybe Bielema year two, year three. And, you know, back then you had Alex Collins, Jonathan Williams, Raleigh Williams. I mean, they were stacked uh, in the backfield. And now you're looking at what they have to offer, and it's Dominic Johnson, a six foot one, 245, 240 pound bowling ball who doesn't move like he's 6'1", 240. He moves like he's 5'10", a buck 90. I mean, he moves really well with that frame. Raheem Sanders, 6'2", uh, 220, another kind of a kind of a, a heavy running back, but with plenty of burst, a guy that when he has the ball in his hands, he's a little shaky. Like, you know, if you watch him run, he doesn't look like a natural running back. He actually played wide receiver in high school. I think he mixed it up a little bit, right? wide receiver and running back, but primarily a wide out. And, again, you talk about rumor mill, guys moving around. There, there's a rumor that Sanders may get moved back out to wide out, but I don't know if there's anything to it right now. I've not heard that, uh, but I'm not. I never rule everything out. I'll tell you that much. But Sanders is an, he's just a beast. You know, again, 6'2", 225, somewhere in there. He'll be a sophomore. AJ Green, someone who I thought might. It wouldn't have shocked me if he hit the portal simply because you had Traylon up until he hit the portal. You had Traylon. You had Dominic. You had Rocket or uh, Raheem, aka Rocket Sanders. Kind of wouldn't surprise me if he had hit the portal. And again, he still could. I mean, you can all the way up until like June first, I think it is, if you want to be eligible for the uh, next for for uh, fall football. But AJ Green might be the fastest of this bunch. He's the track guy. In fact, he wasn't here last year for spring because of track. A similar situation going on with uh, another four-star in this class and Isaiah Centennial, he's got track, so he's not going to be on campus for spring camp. Uh, a little disappointing that, not going to lie. I, I wish him the best. I know track is life and all that, but man, I'd love to see him this spring and uh, start getting notes about what he's doing in spring camp. But uh, AJ will obviously be here for this one, AJ Green. So 5'11", about a buck 95, dude is fast. Probably one of those guys you talk about, one of the five fastest players on the roster. And then they're bringing in guys like James Joyner, Rashad Dubian, if they don't move Dubian, I've heard he could actually play a couple of different positions. And then they have uh, Javion Hunt. Those are all guys that are 5'10", uh, 6 foot, uh, six foot 210, which is what Joyner is. And Hunt, who's uh, actually a redshirt freshman, who's 6 foot 205. They're loaded back there, Mark. I mean, it's just kind of ridiculous. Those names I just listed off, though, the first three, Dominic uh, Johnson, Raheem Sanders, and A.J. Green, all capable of of if not being starters in the SEC, are capable of being like change of pace kind of backs in other systems in this offense. That's how good this backfield, uh, it's how good they look at the moment. I think they are that good. We'll get a bigger dose of that come spring camp. A.J. Green got the most work out of those guys out of that bunch. 227 yards on the ground, 4.8 per carry, a touchdown, and seven catches out of the backfield.